Hi, I'm John Feig, and I'm here to talk to you about managing permissions in Health Connect. The ability to easily manage permissions is at the heart of Health Connect's value proposition to users. To start things off, let's look at the flow for a permissions request with Health Connect. During the initial onboarding, it might make sense to request most of the core data types that your app will need to start getting some benefits from sharing data with Health Connect. Beyond the initial setup, it's helpful to set expectations by focusing on a specific feature and requesting permissions to data types that you will use to support that feature. In order to protect user trust, only request permissions for data types that your app actively uses. And keep in mind that like with other Android permissions, if the user declines permissions too many times, the app will not be able to continue requesting permissions. Users can also revoke permissions within Health Connect. You will want to periodically check that permissions are still approved and be able to handle situations where the permissions have been revoked. Now that we know what to expect for an end-to-end -end flow, let's dive into the code and make it happen. We'll want to provide an activity that can explain to users how their data will be used and handled. As a note, all apps integrating with Health Connect will need to comply with our privacy and security policies and are subject to review. Next, we create a health permissions resource file and include all of the permissions that your app will need to use in that XML file. Your app should now show up in Health Connect's connected apps list. Verify if you can see all declared permissions. The read privacy policy link should take users to your app's permission rationale page. Now it's time to take a look at how we launch a permissions request from your app to Health Connect. You'll start with building a set of all the permissions that you would like to include in the request. Then grab a reference to the permission controller. Note, you may have several sets of permissions if you are planning to request different permissions in different places in your app. Now we're going to build our request. You'll call create request permission activity contract on the permission controller reference you had previously acquired and pass the result as a parameter to register for activity result, which is an Android API that sets you up to launch an intent and start a new activity and register a callback that will be run when the user leaves the permissions activity. The callback here just takes a look to see what permissions the user granted. After you've built the request, you can go ahead and launch it. In order to check what permissions have been granted to your app, you can call the get granted permissions on the permission controller object. Keep in mind that users can revoke permissions within Health Connect, both granular permissions as well as full access. So even if you had been previously granted a permission, you will want to check that permissions are still approved. As one of the core values of Health Connect is centrally managed permissions, users will need to modify any permission settings from within the Health Connect app rather than in your app settings page. From user research, we've learned that users will expect your app settings to link out to Health Connect settings. Here's some code that shows you how to launch the Health Connect app via an intent from your app. Additionally, if you'd like to provide an affordance for users to revoke all granted Health Connect permissions, that is straightforward to do with the following code. At this point, your app settings page should link to Health Connect. The connected status should stay in sync with the status in the Health Connect UI. Consider the case that the user revokes or allows permissions from Health Connect. Users should either be prompted to request permissions or be taken to Health Connect to manage permissions and data. One more quick note on permissions. It's useful to be able to ensure that your app has the permission to take some action at runtime. That's fairly straightforward to do. Just create a set of the permissions that you'll need to use and check it with a permission controller. If you have the permissions you need, go ahead and access Health Connect. If you need those permissions, now would be a good time to let the user know that they're trying to do something that they haven't yet allowed your app to do and ask them to grant you the permissions needed to complete the task. Thanks for watching along with this video about managing permissions in Health Connect. We will need one more video to get you to a completed integration. Plus, we have a bonus video with some tips and tricks to help you along the way, so keep an eye out for those videos. And remember to like and subscribe.